and rolling. So this is the um, intervalometer, and um, here I try to explain a couple of buttons. So firstly, once you turn it off, and then on again, the great thing is that all the settings are lost, which is actually not so great because then you have to put them all back in again. But for this exercise, that's not too bad, obviously. And so if you see here, uh, it says DE, that's the delay button, and when you can activate it, there's a little stripe under there, it, sees, it says now 000, and there's a little loudspeaker, and then it says 1. Well, so you can activate the DE setting by just pressing the middle bu button here, there's a little circular cursor thingy, and in the middle that's the enter, and then you can actually run through these bits and by using the arrow keys you can increase the um, the seconds, the minutes and the hours. Okay, delay is something you won't be using too much so let's move on by pressing the enter button and sorry, enter button and then moving right and you see the little stripe going to BU which means bulb now bulb is much more useful, it's used quite nicely for uh, long exposures. Again you can enter by pressing the middle button uh, on this and then you can, uh, you can move through the minutes and then the seconds and by pushing the upwards button you can actually increase the bulb time if you intend to do that longer than 30 seconds which is generic sort of default setting as a maximum exposure for most cameras. So let's say the bulb, but you can also just override it by just using the, um, uh, the, the, the camera's shutter speed. So it's basically the shutter speed time. So we can leave that also at, well let's keep it at zero. Press enter again to deactivate the cursor flickering and then move to the next one which is much more useful in a sense because there you can actually um, um, set the interval between the photographs. Now there's one little thing about the interval. The interval always has to be longer than the bulb speed. Okay, because if you go over um, 30 seconds, the camera actually has to process uh, that image for 30 seconds quite a long time. And it takes quite a long time to actually do that processing. So the bulb speed needs a bit sort of longer than the, um, that's what I've experienced, then the um, the interval needs to be longer than the bulb speed. Okay, so setting the interval again, you can go through the cursor and then say let's make an interval of three seconds, press enter and then that is set. Well the last two are basically N, which stands for the amount of images you want to take. That's very simple, simply you just set it by going to the downward button and then nothing happens, uh, downward button then you get these two little flickery stripes which means it's set to infinite. If I would go up then I can go all the way obviously to four, uh, four, num yeah, four photographs or if I go back here I go to one, nine, 999 photographs but then after that it will definitely stop. Okay so that's by default I would set it to um, uh, these little two stripes which then mean you can do infinite shooting which is obviously quite useful when you do time lapsing. So I press enter button to activate that and then next up and the last one is the quite hideous and irritating beep that the uh, thing makes. So um, activate it, move it downwards, you get a little cross, uh, well a little yeah, it sort of deactivates it if, if you get that little circle there and press enter. Okay, so now we're ready with the setup and then it's just a matter of pressing start stop. The last thing also here is lock. You can actually, if you press lock, it gives you a little light. Um, and you can also activate the shutter by clicking this manually. So that's the override, is this big middle button here. But usually you just do start and stop then it goes, it counts down and 
click it makes a picture and then count down and click it makes a picture etc it's not connected to the camera now because otherwise my camera wouldn't be working in video mode so that's basically it so the best thing is to put new batteries in um, new batteries in before you start and because that will actually mean yeah the batteries they actually last very long this battery these batteries have been in here for a couple of months um, even though it was on uh, it actually uses very very little power so it consumes very little power on the uh, on the triple a batteries there's the small ones um, let's see that's these little ones here triple a batteries and yeah so that's basically it if you want to stop it click stop and then it goes back okay you can always go back to its initial setting there we go okay I hope this was a bit clear oh yes and of course we've got well this particular um, uh, connector is for the Sony A7S cameras uh, there's other ones I believe this one uh, I've got another one here is for the Canon cameras you can see that that's for the Canon cameras and that's probably the one you'll be using if you use the school's cameras okay cool bye